Where did I park the... I came out that way, but I, I went in... Is that it? Yeah, so shortly after deciding on that paint color, two of my favorite bloggers, John and Sherry Petersick of Young House Love, published, or didn't publish, but shared an article from the Washington Post about the Consumer Reports report on the best paints. They tested for durability, for how easily they go on, for price, the way that the color matches the paint chip. And in the article, let me show you the article real quick. Top five interior paints were Bear Marquis, Bear Premium Plus Enamel, Valspar, which was just bought by Sherman Williams, Bear Premium Plus Ultra, and Benjamin Moore Aurora. Glidden did not make that list at all. I've used Glidden before and I didn't have a problem with it, but this made me second guess and decide to try Bear. And of all things, the color is Bear Black. It's just called Black. So we're gonna go in here to the Home Depot. I'm gonna do a couple of things. I'm gonna get a sample of the Glidden get a sample of the bear and then I'm gonna show you another possibility hold on if you are just like super super excited about a certain paint color you can always take it into any store any place and have them color match it and in this article from the Washington Post from Consumer Reports they said that they were able to let me read it to you directly so from the cheapest gal the most important factor consumers I'm gonna put a link to this below so you can read it yourself consumers should start with the best performing paints, but then look among those to select the paint that has the best performance for their attributes of their particular project. And for us, this is coverage because this is black and I don't want to do a bunch of coats. I also want it to be low VOC because I have children and I don't want a bunch of chemical smells inside of the house. And I also want it to be uh, cost effective. So those are some of the things I'm considering. If you were painting in a, a basement or somewhere that was really dank, you would, um, is dank a word? Their point is you shouldn't just pick a paint based on the color. So for example, I love this color, Black Panther by Benjamin Moore. I can take this in, I can give it to the people at Home Depot, they'll put it under a little machine, and they can make this exact color. And it says here, the magazine did an experiment asking hardware store clerks to match a faro and ball, which is a really expensive, like $100 a gallon, their own paints they nailed it within one percent so that is alleging that this color can be brought to life by using Home Depot's bare paints and they can match it within one percent that's pretty good I mean you would have to be like really really wanting something mega specific which I don't I don't I don't need. I recommend they, you can also do online a color match. So you can go to colorswatches.com and I'll put the link to that below as well and go to our services and then type in the type of paint that you want. So in this case, it would be Benjamin Moore Black Panther and then hit enter and it will tell you what the equivalent would be in Bear and in Glidden and in all the other paint colors. I'm not especially partial to Home Depot for any one reason. It's just that it's the closest to my house and there's a Target right next door and I need more chai tea. Here's a better example of all the different sheens that I was talking about. Flat, this is just like the flattest of the flat. The coffee cup paper, if you will. This one at the top reflects. In the middle of talking about sheens, my camera battery died, so let's try that again. So this is bears, and you start up here with matte, or flat, flat matte, and then eggshell enamel, satin enamel, semi-gloss enamel, and then high-gloss enamel. And you can see how they get shinier as they go down. Um, these, you're not gonna be able to wipe stuff off the wall as easy. You could maybe use like a magic eraser or something. These are gonna be able to wipe really easily, but you can tell it's very reflective. So it just kind of depends on what style you're going for. Um, it even says on here, uh, interior, this is good for dining rooms, and ceilings, the mat. The mat is good for bedrooms and family rooms. The eggshell enamel for hallway and kids rooms. Satin enamel for kitchens, bathrooms, utility rooms. I would agree with that. Kitchen is a good place to put something with a little gloss. 
uh, semi gloss, kitchens, bathrooms, shutters, doors, cabinets, and trim would be the high gloss, or you could just throw all this out and do whatever the heck you want. This guy that you can take home with you so that you can look at these and study them and decide which one you want, give it to your spouse, talk about it. These are the sample buckets. They're gonna cost you anywhere from like $3 to the barbecue key line is about $5. Totally and completely 100% worth it. If you're gonna buy $100 worth of paint, it's worth the investment to spend $10 to make sure it's the color that you want so you don't waste $100 and lots of your time. And here they show you all the wooden lines and all the bare lines. It's pretty comprehensive and if you have any trouble, they're really good about answering questions. Is it weird that I could just stare at these colors all day long? And I get one of these down here. They're called uh, foam wooden handle brushes or something. It's just like this very basic 97 cents brush. I get a really thin one because the sample of the paint is going to be in a really small container so I want to be able to make sure I can dip it in there very easily. I use these and not my really fancy brush because I just want to put it on the wall. What the? You can hear it earlier, they're still cleaning. I want to be able to just put this on the wall and then throw it away. I don't want to have to go clean out the brush and do the whole thing because I don't even know if this is the color that I want to use so for me. It's worth it to just put it on for 97 cents and then toss this. One, two, three. Actually, these are 67 cents, so that's even better. Just have to wait a little while for them to mix the paint up. Here's another fun tip. If you don't know what colors you want to use for a project and you're up for anything, Almost every single paint store will have a section of paints that have been brought back or that they mixed and someone didn't want. In this case, they're all sitting right here. And you can find great deals on paint if you don't have a specific color that you need. I did this in our old house. I just picked up three random colors that were marked down and I did a project with them. You can return paint. I've done it several times. You can return it, just flat out return it, even if they say you can't. And you can return it and have them lighten it or darken it or add sheen to it. They can't really take the sheen away. Where does that machine again? So they should dot the top of them with the color so that you can see it without having to open the um, Supposed to. sample. <laughs> make sure it's shaken too. Supposed to. And <laughs> yeah. make sure that it is shaken because that makes yeah. a huge, huge, huge difference. Yes. Look at that. A little box to put them in mm. and the samples back. <laughs> Thank you kindly, you sir. Welcome. Thank you. Make absolutely sure you get your samples back, the original samples that you gave them, because you might need them if you decide to go with a different um, paint brand or color or you need to show them to your spouse or just for reference and make sure they shake them. In fact, if you have old paint laying around that you want to use, you can bring it up here and they'll shake it for you for free before you use it, which you absolutely want to do because that will give you the best indication of what the color is going to look like on the wall. All right, let's go buy these. All right, success. As overwhelming as paint sounds and can be when you walk in the store, the people are really, really friendly and they will help you. The best time, ironically, to go is actually not in the morning because that's when all of the real construction people and designers and Developers are here getting like tons of five gallon things of paint Sometimes I really feel like I'm in their way So I think the best time to go is probably after like 9 or 10 o'clock on a weekday not on the weekend. Where did I park the I, I Came out that way, but I baby seats of any size or value are wonderful for keeping paint, plants, wine, and anything else breakable that you don't want to fall over. Maybe beer. When I said that Home Depot and Target are really close together, Home Depot, Target. These are things to consider when picking paint. Don't underestimate, whoa, let's just step right into that. Don't underestimate the importance of convenience. Don't make it more difficult on yourself. Benjamin Moore is all the way across town. I'd have to go there multiple times. It's not buy anything else that I need. Target, however, is right by the chai tea that I need. 
And on this gray, rainy day, some chai tea is gonna be amazing. great place to come early in the morning. There's nobody here except the people working here. Hi, thank you. Go back home and check out the paint colors. <laughs>